Hello everyone. Let us continue learning C++ programming. In our previous video, we discussed about virtual functions and pure virtual functions. We also had an in-detail look into upcasting and downcasting structures. Now in this video, we are going to look into yet another important topic in C++ programming, which is called as dynamic casting. Now the purpose of dynamic casting is to ensure that whether the casting what we have performed earlier has happened perfectly or not and how that is being checked that is the ultimate purpose of dynamic casting let's get started basically a cast is an operation that forces one type of data to be converted into another type in any language in c++ dynamic casting is primarily used to safely downcast a base class pointer to a derivative class object or vice versa cases and it can also be used for upcasting that is a derivative class pointer pointing to a base class object dynamic casting checks the consistency during the runtime hence it is slower than your regular upcasting and downcasting process now let us have a look at the syntax of the downcasting technique you have your new type pointer which is pointing to your dynamic cast of a base type pointer followed by the address now the holistic point is if the base type pointer and the ptr object matches if the ptr if ptr is an object of base type then it returns the address which is basically a not non null value else that is else if the ptr is not an object not an object of base type then it returns a null value this is exactly the working of your dynamic casting structure and let us see how that is done with our previous coding which you already have now here in this case i have an object for the manager class and we all know that we already had a clerk class so for the clerk class i'm creating an object of ck which passes by the name of santosh and here before calling those functions i will create an if condition saying if dynamic cast of type here the employee class employee pointer is pointing to the manager class object so i'm saying manager pointer of employee what are the address that is stored inside the employee pointer if that is of type manager manager class then this value returns a non null address this particular function returns a non null value hence i'll say see out manager cast successful else see out i'll say manager cast else if i'll put another condition saying else if i'll check get another condition saying dynamic cast of clerk pointer for the employee address i would say see out clerk cast successful else i'll see out which is not a possible case as of now i'll say cast failure yes here i have an employee class pointer which is pointing to the manager class object so let's compile it and let's run the code here it says the manager cast is successful reason because employee points to the manager class object okay if this is made to point 
the clerk class, okay, the CK class object. I'll compile this. And when I run this file, it says the clerk cast is successful. What has happened here is basically a clerk cast. So this tells you a return, it returns a null value when the cast is a failure. Okay. If in case I have yet another class, class security, which again inherits public inherits the employee class in which I have a security constructor which sets name to empty and I'll declare all the functions as public here and the parameter is constructor security and I have and I end with a semicolon here. Here I create a security class, SK, with the name of Shakti. And in this part, okay, the abstract function is not defined. So void, we put the virtual function should be defined here. So C out, Q, T. So I'm adding functionality here. So it is implemented. Now we can create objects from a security class. In case if we create, if the employee class points to SK. Okay. Now let's see what happens. So SK dot P put function. So we have the screen. Let's compile it and run this up again. So Shakti is basically a security. Now, when I cast it, when I make a casting, Shakti becomes an employee if it is a normal casting process, down casting process. If it is a regular uh, virtual function casting, okay, Shakti still stays as an security. And when I check for the down casting process, this is neither manager nor clerk. So, hence it says the casting is failure. And I believe the idea of dynamic casting is understood. See you with yet another interesting topic in C programming. Thank you.